Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019-20 Panini Prism English Premier League Soccer. Break number two, pick your team number two. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. So on a Tuesday, Dennis last bought Mojo with the Arsenal. And then we'll have Nick Cam up there. He's gonna help rip some packs for us. Um, and there's everybody. It looks like Joe Parker with my club right there, Liverpool. Nice. And the combo teams for Jeremy, if you look at your item description, sorry, we're gonna switch screens really quick. If you look at your item description really quick, you'll see that the we sold one combo spot for Brighton, Hove Albion, Southampton, Bournemouth, Aston Villa, uh, Burnley, Norwich, Sheffield, and Watford. So those are those clubs there. All right, so there you have it. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, I'm, a I'm a Chelsea supporter. Nick Jaspi, Chelsea supporter. I'm a Liverpool supporter. Liverpool beat Chelsea yeah. yesterday or Sunday. It's hard to get up that early. It's yeah, I just DVR it. Um, is this just one auto a box? Yeah, one auto per box. And uh, don't sleep on the inserts that pop out of here because they sell pretty well on secondary market. And of course, we haven't seen the kaboom, which is one per case. Maybe? Yeah, I think around there. I don't think, I don't think it's guaranteed, but. But they usually could fall one per case. Uh, checklist is in the chat as well if you want to see what your club can get. English Premier League season in full swing. Who's the Netherlands? Uh, guy from Netherlands on Liverpool is the defender. That guy's really good. Oh, Virgil van Dijk? Yeah, he's really good. One of the best central, central defenders in all of world football, ladies and gentlemen. Jamie, what's going on? First time with us. Ooh. That Barry Sanders auto booklet show when you first open your page was amazing. Yeah, hopefully we can pull something like else like that when Flawless rolls around again this year. Great lad. Yeah, great lad. He's all right. Pip pip. I don't know if they say pip pip anymore. Yeah, he's also got like hands got held like a racist chant. Whoa, there is racist racism is an issue in soccer. Soccer, yeah. yeah. Chelsea also uh, was got a transfer ban. They can't do yeah, they right, can't right, do right. trades. Yeah. I forget what they did. They were like, like paying uh, kids illegally or something like that. That was right after I, I announced my allegiance towards them. And then like that happened. I think Christian Pulisic, yeah. our American future star, was That's like the last transfer they got in. And they can't do any more. But people saying it's a blessing in disguise because they're forced to use their young players. So for the future. Yeah. So there's like. So there's like. It could be yeah. Soccer transfers are. All right. Yeah, soccer transfer are crazy because you have to pay. F you have to pay so the club. Are you out of the money? Like, if you pay the club and you can't get a contract done, are you out of that money you paid the club? No, no, no. They it just pay. doesn't happen. Okay. So then, whoa, kaboom! Ooh, nice. There's Declan Rice. Is that a combo? For West Ham United. No, it's not. It's on a slightly thicker card sock though. It's pretty yeah, that's cool. what I noticed. Nice, Declan Rice. It's good soccer. I think he's pretty good too. On like a not so good. Fifty-five. Yeah, I think it's a, I got I got one. On a not so good uh, Western team. Who well, I think they beat. I think they beat Manchester United though. Manchester United's been struggling. The most valuable franchise in sports still. I think so. Yeah. It was on the match was on Sunday. Yeah, West Ham actually beat Manchester United 2 0. So that goes to Josh Pruce with West Ham United. And there's David De Gea. I like the Wolves just because their name too. There's Georgino Wijnaldum. 99 for my club, Liverpool. I didn't know they were goes to the Joseph Parker. I did this break. Yeah, the, Wolver, the Wolverhampton Wanderers. There's Watford to 149. And we've got our autograph is also for West Ham United. Is Lucas Fabianski, the keeper. Another one for Josh Pruce. So 
So far, so good for Josh. The hammers, as they call them. 56 out of 99. Josh King Prism. We'll obviously uh, sleeve and top load all of those before they go out, you before they're sorted out. want to be like an average quarterback in the NFL or like a really good soccer player like that, but you're the only good player for your country. I think that'd be awesome. Like Christian Pulisic? Like that, <laughs> no, yeah, like him or that Egyptian guy. Mohamed Salah? Yeah. Like he's their only good player, right? For Egypt, yeah, I mean, pretty much. That'd be awesome. You're the king of the whole country. A nice David Luiz for Chelsea. I don't think Salah has any autographs, though. I think he has cards, but no autos. David Luiz goes to... It's that still Chelsea edition that goes to Mark Matheson. Fabinho for Liverpool. There's Robbie Brady, Tom's brother. Not really. There he is. There's Mohamed Salah right there. Uh, yeah, that there was. No, that's the first box. I thought you were on the second box. No, that's one, two, three, four, five. Am I on the second box already? One, two, three, four, five, six. So, so it's two autos. Box. Yeah. Two autos in one box. And a kaboom. And a kaboom. No Tottenham yet. Except for this guy right here. Oh, the silvers are nice. This is Jamie Vardy, 149. For Leicester City, the Foxes. Aston Villa's Jack Grealish. I guess a better question would be, would you rather be like Neymar on a really good Brazil team? So you're not like, you're the superstar, but not like... You won't ever be like Pele? Yeah. Or like... Chris Smalling. You're the best... United States player ever, Egyptian or whatever. I don't know. At least with Brazil, you have a chance to win the World Cup. Yeah, that's true. Are you saying the United States will never win the World Cup? <laughs> Maybe not in our lifetime. Oh, That'd be pretty sad. At least I don't think so. It's, it's like once every four years, so it's not too much time. So let's just say 50 years. How many World Cups is that? 10? 11? You gotta think we'd get at least close. Yeah, I don't know. Let me put it that way, it doesn't sound like a lot. At least not in our prime years where we can actually celebrate. Right. All right, next box. There's Hyun Min Sung, who some may consider maybe even a little bit better than Harry Kane. There's Allison. Liverpool still undefeated this season without Allison. He's been he's been injured, but they've still been playing play, pretty play good soccer. soccer. Definitely just go by one name. Oh yeah, you definitely That's go by one name. Yeah. Just be like Nick yeah. on the back of your jersey. Jaspie. Yeah, Jaspie. Just be like a, and Jaspie with a goal. A, like, Jaspie with an absolute H. Yeah, there's really, I guess, football. American football. There's Danny Drinkwater, which reminds me of one of our our customers whose last name is Rainwater. And I was like, you remind me of this guy. Drinkwater. Yeah. Drinkwater also got, uh, he recently got dinged for a DUI in England. <laughs> He that's like he should have been. That's like customary in England, isn't been, it? Should have been drinking more Good water. water. <laughs> oh man, Twitter was alive with those jokes. There's Christian Pulisic right here. We'll ship the Pulisics. I would imagine that's like yeah, it's a routine thing in England. <laughs> it happens more than you think, yeah. Maybe Ireland more often. 
Uh, ooh, and a one out of five for Arsenal. Last spot, Mojo. Gold vinyl. That's Socrates. Uh, Papasanopoulos. Oh, the Greek. The Greek I defender. Him in 2014 prison soccer. Yeah, he's he's really good, actually. He's like, yeah, he's like the best. He's, a, he's like, he's like, like a great, great defender, game. yeah. There it is. I remember trying to pronounce his name. That's funny. I know I played in... There you go. Nice. Dennis, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. It's Jeff Hurst. There's Javier Hernandez, Chicharito, Scores Club. Pascal Grobe, score a goal or two in the Premier League. And there's Tim Closa. Is he related to Mario Closa? Maybe not. Miroslav? Oh no, Miroslav Klose, I mean. Oh no, he's Swiss. Miroslav Klose is German, German. I think. That goes to Norwich. German. And we've got, for Brighton, 22 out of 75, Yves Bissouma. And for Liverpool, Joe Gomez, their central defender. Right here. Gilfie Sigurdsson. A lot of parallels, folks. There's going to be a lot of parallels. We got Etienne Capoue, 90 out of 99 for Watford. And there's Dwight McNeil. And some Oppo Joe Mojo, Luke Shaw. That goes to Mark Madsen and Manchester United. Remember Euro Trip? You ever watch the movie Euro Trip? Yeah, I have with that. Manchester United, greatest football club in the world. That's really good to answer. Yeah. And there's like a hot tub scene too. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've yeah. seen that movie. Girl in there is pretty easy on the eyes. Yeah. All right. Next one. You know, the problem on Manchester United is that Paul Pogba. Yeah, he's, he's been cut. He's a problem. He's just like, I, I don't want to play for this manager. I can't well. defend him in FIFA. Oh. He's a problem. Yeah, he's a very good player. He, he helped win, he's helped taller, France. He's taller than everybody else, so the headers are just like. Helped France win that World Cup. Possible. But I don't know. Just hasn't really fit in with that Manchester United side, though. Who do you guys think is going to get relegated this season, folks? Soccer fans. Burnley. I don't know. Let's look at the let's look at the Premier League table. I like Erickson too. Fellow Dane. I mean, Aston Villa might get sent down. Oh, Burnley's actually pretty good. Yeah, Burnley's a solid mid-table team. Oh, the Wolves? Not the Wolves. Oh, yeah, I've seen that video. I like Katie Nolan. There's Johan Berg Gudmundsen to 199. And that is for... That's for Burnley. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta do that Liverpool trip too someday. Man, you guys remember when Jack Wilshire was supposed to be the next big thing for Arsenal, but just never, 
Never quite made it. There's Diego Rico for Burnmouth. Ben Davies for Tottenham. Dolphins. What's that? The Dolphins getting relegated. <laughs> yeah, Dolphins. There you go. Oh, Jeremy Harder saying the Dolphins are being relegated. Yeah, relegate the Dolphins. I think NBA should institute that. I think I th NBA could do it. I don't think they ever will. I don't think no American pro team. Or the only reason why England has it is, I think, just well, because. MLS maybe. Out of 199, Drano Wijnaldum for Liverpool. It's just because they that's just been their system since, like, the dawn of time. Yeah, since day one, so. And all the transfer fees, too. That's been since the beginning. It's like, oh, you pay the club 500 bucks, 500 pounds, and then well, you sign the player, and then that's just grown to millions biggest, of dollars. What's been the biggest transfer for a United States MLS player to go over? To go overseas? Yeah. Has there been any? Uh, probably not that much. Maybe, like, a few million pounds, maybe? Like, Len Donovan, maybe, or something? Or didn't oh, Landon Donovan played, never played. Or Tim Howard, maybe? Didn't he play? He played in but see, they're they're but they, the guys they that are the guys that are good enough will sign their first. first they won't play for MLS first and then get transferred. Right. That rarely happens. That makes sense. It's, so it's usually MLS usually the other yeah, MLS teams paying the transfer fee. Right. But I don't know how that works between American clubs though. Another three out of five. Anthony Knockart. See the video of the suite in Brighton Hove Albion. And that goes to Jeremy Frisch. That's crazy. Jeremy Frisch combo spot. Some guy in like Dubai, All aboard the Big Head Express. Woo -woo. And we got Christian Fuchs autograph for Leicester. You guys remember when Leicester City won the uh He's also won the Premier League like two or three years ago and like, like the beginning of the season one. yeah they were plus 50,000 or something like that Ridiculous. and someone put like 50 bucks on him and won like over almost a million pounds I think <coughs> I think he's a Dane right maybe he's German no Fuchs is Austrian I think really? mhm mm And we've got some Divock Origi autograph. Nice Divock Origi for Joseph Parker. Divock Origi, part of my club. Pretty nice striker for Liverpool. Nice. Very excited. Liverpool need to win yeah, the awesome title corner. this year. Yeah. That. Delivered by, we saw, we've seen some of his cards here. Trent Alexander Arnold delivered that sharp corner, and Divock Origi just tucked it right Must in. Must be every other box is two autos or something? I don't know. I guess. Was that, did it look like that in the That's first? The, no. I don't think so. So it wasn't like that in the first half that Jason did. We've had two boxes and two autos. Yeah. There's Roberto Firmino. Now 75, Diego Rico. There's Ryan Bertrand for Southampton to 199. What is that? Uh, like the FIFA, um, the World, FIFA World Cup, and the, you're gonna in the suite. You're gonna be able to have a bet, and then you can walk out. Whoa! To the so there's an apartment in the stadium? Yeah, basically. Yeah, it's, it's, basically. Suite. it's probably like thousands of dollars. It's like the Blue Jay Stadium. Have wow. that hotel awesome. connected to Oh, it. yeah. That's it's a, like that. I was like, and they're just building it for this. And that's yeah, like, that's all. <laughs> I know. No, Ooh. It's never going to get used again. Yeah. Nice Arsenal team logo for Dennis Moore. There's photo galleries of like abandoned Olympic stadiums. It's yeah, really oh, cool. That's so cool. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's I mean, I just like Former Liverpool so player Martin cool. Kelly. Yeah. But it's sad for like the, yeah. the people that kick out of there. It's like you make all that money. You can make a statement like that, make all that money, and then make yeah. that. Really yeah, and all the officials take it and all that. And the FIFA get bribed. Yeah, the five autograph was nice. That was autograph, right? The gold line? No. No. Two, oh, two no, base. Oh, 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 They'll sell for like hundreds of dollars. It probably will, yeah. There's Connor uh, Hurani, 42 out of 149 for Aston Villa. That was a cool move. 
Their rivals are Brighton. No, Birmingham are their Aston Villa's rivals. And we've got... Nice, Alan Shearer, Club Legends for Newcastle. Nine out of 25. He, I think he still has the most goals in the Premier League history. For a single season or career? Like ever, I think. He's like a prolific goal scorer. Who's got Newcastle? That goes to Trey Bush. He was in World Prison World Cup, too. Uh-huh. Um... Shearer scored 283 league goals in his career, all in the first tier of English football, including a record 260 in the Premier League, of which 58 were penalties. A joint record 11 Premier League hat-tricks. Wow, and a total of 422 goals in all competitions, including international levels. Depending on my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think he does, like, TV on, like, for the I would have guessed Sir now. Bobby Charlton. How about that? Wow, good pull. <laughs> But he's a defender, though. Oh, okay. I just like his... I, anyone who's knighted... Just well, yeah, he, just because he won the 66 like, World Cup. I would have one name and then, a, like, a knight so And he has the most Premier League goals in a 42-game season with 34. Most Premier League goals in a single match with five. Is it, like, NBA so. where it's like, oh, they put in a different era, bro? Oh, they do that all the time. Hand-checking. Yeah, they do that all the time. Oh, well, you can't tackle guys anymore yeah. in soccer. Like, yeah, yeah. all the old school guys will always say that. They'll be like, it's, funny. Uh, it's like exactly the same as NBA. Yep, you, just, you, you can't tackle guys anymore. You just, can't, you just can't challenge anyone anymore. So all these guys are... You've been putting... Oh, these are numbered. Those are all inserts, yeah. Okay. Or numbered cards. I see, I see. There's just too many. So these prism ones I'm just flying by because they're... They're not numbered, but of course those will certainly ship. We have a fresh case in this one too. Yeah, actually the next break, break three of this is from a fresh case, ladies and gentlemen. So a lot of value and in this got, soccer. Maybe we have the dual auto hot cases. Double auto box. Uh, I'm okay with that. All right, there's Emerson Palmieri to 199. I'll get a wireless mic, just attach it to, to me. Just like a referee? Yeah. Or how do they do the VAR? <laughs> oh, man, it's going so to VAR. Oh, they, they, they finally got VAR in, in the EPL, and it's caused controversy. That's crazy. Because they're just like, oh, that's not, that's like... That, that, that's offsides by a hair, but now they're calling that. Yeah. Now it's too technical, and everyone's just like... Is there challenges? No, there's no challenge. Uh, well, I mean, VAR, but that's not instituted by the club. That's. But, like, how do they institute... Oh, yeah, we're going to go to VAR on this offside. Yeah, because it's like, I it think it's... so close that we better yeah, review it. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind that, but I guess, yeah. It's but like it's just not happening correctly, according to the people that are against it. So. What, it's like... It's drama. It's too close. This drama, yeah. I mean, it's just like, why are we calling these ticky-tacky offsides? Yeah. So you have a lot of English people saying bollocks to that. Oh, man. Pulisic had such a nice... Did you see his debut? He had that goal, but he got called offside. It was a really nice... That goal. might have been a VAR call, now that yeah, I think about it. Yeah, it was. He had an assist, too, in his debut. I don't think he's done as well. But... No, he's still still young, still getting, in, getting yeah. his feet wet. It's like... League. Premier League, yeah, is is, techn is known as a very physically challenging league. There's old Gary Neville, Manchester United, Mark Matheson with Manchester United, club legend indeed. Part of that, uh, that three out of ten too, nice low number. The old uh, David Beckham club too, played with him for a long time at Manchester United. David Beckham's leading a pretty good life. Yeah, he's got an awesome life. <laughs> yeah. And he got to retire in, like, L.A. It's awesome. Yes, and spent, like, 
yeah. half a decade in LA just relaxing. There's Joel and my team. That's funny. It's like Ibrahimovic. He's like the best player by far, and he's like 38. <laughs> yeah. Just, just crushing it in the MLS and just living in LA. It's not bad. Doesn't have to play like in the winter anymore. Yeah. Well, yeah, and he just gets to play, like, double-A competition. Yep, there's Sean Longstaff. That's like when he called out Carlos Vela, because... Right. He was like, oh, yeah, he was, he's in his prime, he's playing the MLS. I was playing where? Yeah, he was playing PSG, Barcelona, in World Cups with the Swedish National Club. That was for Newcastle. Leicester City. I'm not gonna be able to pronounce this name. Salglar Soyanku. Uh, Soyanku. My 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 Turkish is weak. <laughs> haven't haven't studied Turkish in a little while. NHL has a new challenge rule. If you lose a challenge, you take a penalty. I like that, yeah. 8 out of 25, Sergey Rear. They should put the coach in the in the penalty box. <laughs> that, that'd be even better. Just have him, like, just, like... Yeah. Just lace up with the and pads. The opponent's penalty box. Make it really, like, challenging. Like, you better know that this West challenge is going to flip. Or else you're going to be in the yeah, you, opponent's penalty box. Yeah, you better get that right. Don't waste our time. Kyle Walker... Fernandinho from Man City to 99. There's Theo Walcott, another big Arsenal prospect. There's Tim Closa. Hyunmin Son. And that's the silver right there, Aston Villa. Yarnson. And the last box coming up. These Prism cards are slippery this year. You want to slide around all over the place. All right, here we go. Last box. Good luck, everybody. Out of 149, Yarmolenko for West Ham. They kind of got the Premier League license, like, all of a sudden. They didn't really announce it. Any yeah, what was up with that? Yeah. Think they'll do NT? They probably will, huh? Yeah, I think they'll do it. Flawless, probably. NT. Can Tops have the Premier League? Yeah. They didn't want it anymore? Although, I don't know, because they did, like, Champions League that one year. Yeah. I don't know if the licenses are different. We did a lot of that. What was it? Champions League uh, gold or something, gold label or something like that. There's Azpilicueta as to 199. Riff saying someone keeps taking Leicester City. I don't know what I don't know what we're selling Leicester for. Thirty dollars. Nick thinks thirty dollars. Thirty-five. Yeah, twenty-four ninety-nine for Leicester City. Someone took him in all four. We'll have another case once number four sells out. I, I probably won't post it until number four goes. So. There you go. Maybe we'll do a random team. I don't know. If we don't sell four soon. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. He used to play for Manchester United. Yeah, they snuck his own. Oh, did they? Cristiano yeah. Ronaldo? Yeah. It's like, finally, a soccer release that doesn't have Ronaldo. Uh, yeah, it's like, uh, <laughs> there's Casper <laughs> Schmeichel, Vertanian, out of 75, for Tottenham Hotspur. Big Schmeichel fan. Peter Schmeichel and Casper. Oh, man, the father-son legends. Go Dane. The Turf Moor, Burnley. Although, they kind of choked last year in the World Cup. Although, I think Schmeichel played pretty well. 
Mike was pretty solid. Yeah, that. They went to penalties with. Uh, Chill there? No, it was. Um, Milojevic to 199 for Crystal Palace. No autograph in here? There it is. And it's Club Legends. We got Patrick Kluver. Club Legends for Newcastle. Another Newcastle legend. Man, Newcastle. Great break for Trey Bush. And Newcastle United. Who was a pretty legendary club in like the... Through like the 90s and fell upon yeah, hard... Fell upon hard times. They're at like... They're in 16th place or something like that. Fell upon hard times. And then, uh, yeah, they're they're all the way down at 17th on the table. But they were, they're like one of those old school... I'm trying to think of like a baseball example or like a... Like the Orioles or something? Kind of like the Orioles, yeah. They were like great in like the 70s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and then you're like, what happened to these guys? Ripken and all that. Yeah, yeah. what happened to those guys? Yeah. And then competitive in the 90s and they just like just didn't... Yeah. Got relegated a couple times and... There you go. And that was the last autograph of the box, unless we have a bonus one. We have seen bonus ones in here. There's Zerdan Shakiri for Liverpool. We got, got Fabian for West Ham United. Balbuena. Uh, Robbie Brady to 99 for uh, Aston Villa. No, for Burnley. And that, my friends... Is that a great soccer break in the books? It's uh, pretty nice to see a little uh, change of pace from all the usual football, baseball, basketball stuff that we do. So if you're interested in more soccer, footy fans, check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.